Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft Reborn. Here with the Starry Skies pack, Lynx and Selena, who are quickly becoming some of the strongest wolf spirits in all of the forest, and are letting all of the squirrel, the skunk, and the raccoon spirits know that they are now in charge here, and who are hopefully getting closer and closer to level 10 when they will be able to have puppies of their own, which would be so exciting, because Lynx, as he is realizing that he is actually a starry skies wolf. He is reborn in this very fun spiritual realm full of things like flying, flying wolves and pig pets. <laughs> and party hats on bears. But as he is realizing he is part of this realm, he wants to see some of his wolf quest packs, the dawn pack, the moon pack, the starry skies pack, be reborn into this new world thanks to the help of the new companion that he has, Selena, who is quickly becoming uh, a beloved mate. I don't think they're officially mates just yet, but Selena is almost a level 10, Lynx is almost a level 10, and we are setting out from the den, the den of mysteries, where there are mini totems that will one day be constructed uh, out of the energy that we gather from the world, aka all of these awesome little shiny coins. Uh, and the totems will turn into really cool statues, which I had in the old version of Wildcraft, so I'm a little sad that I don't have my fancy statue now that I know how rare it is anymore. But we'll be able to get some more. Hopefully today we will be completing this quest, which will give us 1,000 coins and allow us to turn all of the spiritual energy of the squirrels, the skunks, and the raccoons into some fun items. Maybe even a fun pet. I will, I will do backflips if we manage to unlock a pet. Uh, but the main goal is to reach level 10 and hopefully be able to prepare to add a pup to our lives. So come on, Selena. I finally see a skunk. <laughs> and last time, Selena led a brave... Oh, wait, that's a raccoon. Selena led a brave fight. All right, we got him. We're going to take him down. Good job, Selena. Between the two of us, this will this will be easy peasy. See? Nice. And 50 coins. That's pretty nice. We definitely want to give a little bit of attention to uh, to chasing down the harder animals because they definitely give you a lot more coins, which means more energy that we can turn into really cool items. All right, let's give it a good howl. Looks like everybody's hiding over there today. But I'm pretty excited because it'll be cool to see which wolf actually gets reborn into this world. Uh, I'm not sure who it will be yet. We want it to be... Frost, the brother that Lynx lost in our Wolf Quest adventures when he was just a, a little bit too cowardly and he has never forgiven himself for that. That his brother ended up being the one who was taken away by a cougar that Lynx attracted because he was the one who didn't listen to their parents and he became too scared to move. And instead of the cougar getting him, the cougar ended up getting his brother Frost so he wants Frost to be reborn, but something occurred to me, guys. Frost is kind of a all-white wolf, and we don't have white wolves unlocked yet. I mean, he can be reborn whatever he wants to be, uh, but I don't know if Frost will be. I, I feel like Frost, that would be the driving factor of Lynx's entire purpose here in the Starry Skies realm, would be bringing his brother Frost back. And I don't know if Frost could come back until we unlock the the white fur and say that we finally have that connection. Because Frost is not the only one of the wolves who has passed on in our wolf quest adventures. We have oh so many more who have come and gone. So I think we're actually going to, like, I have a, a random generator of names that we have from my patrons who and you guys who have picked some of your guys' favorite wolves from all of our past wolf quest adventures and supplied some of your wolf names so i think what we're going to do is lynx's struggle the story that will drive him for so many many days to come we'll be trying to find a connection with his long lost brother frost and to be able to invite frost into the starry skies pack but until we unlock the white wolf or we randomize the name frost among the growing list of names that we have then we will have to keep going so uh, when we unlock the white wolf, 
that's a guaranteed connection to Frost Spirit and the ability to bring him into our pack. And if we have not unlocked the White Wolf, I will roll a random generator of names. If Frost is picked, then he will be reborn as whatever he wants to be. Even if we just like have him reborn as a brown wolf, maybe he will even be reborn as a horse for all I know because we'll have unlocked the horses by then. But whatever the case, we are actually going to go ahead and uh, just have to wait. Like, that's going to be Lynx's big driving story, is trying to find a way to connect with his brother Frost. And he thought it would be as easy as just being able to have a wolf pup of his own to share in the spiritual realm and give his brother, like, a wolf pup to be reborn as. But it's not that simple, because there's a lot of wolves that we have had in our pack. So, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of work. All right, and speaking of a little bit of work, here's some bunnies. Where'd all those squirrels from last time go? Oh, there's skunks. I see skunks. We've got this. All right. Good job, Selena. Let's go ahead and eat. We are supposed to be leveling up too, which should happen very, very soon for us. And then let's also make sure... No, I need to... I need to actually... There we go. Edit links. I don't have any... I thought I had some more elixir power and I don't. Oh, okay. So this fight is going to take us just a hot minute, but we've got this. There's one skunk, two skunk, three skunks. It's worth it, Lynx. It's time to take on the skunk spirits. They're actually kind of strong. So just be aware. I need to use my howling a lot more. I always forget to howl and it's definitely worth it. So we're going to, there we go. The power of growling has just given us a huge boost. And we're now level nine, yes! All right, I really wanna complete this quest so that we can open up another chest. And I do have enough points that we might be able, okay, how, come on, growl. There we go, growl, there we go. Growl, growl, I said, there we go. Nice, oh, 44 coins each. We are getting some serious energy to turn into special items. I can't wait. If we unlock the White Wolf, just think of how amazing that would be to finally reconnect with Frost Spirit here. But I'm also excited to see what kind of wolves we unlock. And I'm kind of curious, like, when we unlock other animals, how I would determine, like, when we have... Oh, finally the squirrels! There's a whole bunch of squirrels! I hope they don't turn around and decide to, like, defend each other. Because we'd be in a little bit of trouble right now. All right, there we go. And then we need to find another raccoon, so I think I know where we can locate a couple of them. All right, let's go this way. Clear out these squirrels on our- There's so many squirrels! And all I can see now, I'm hungry, not for their- for like their meat as a wolf, I'm hungry for that spirit energy. Give, give, give. <laughs> I want those coins. I want those coins. I want to be able to see what we unlock. But yeah, I'm kind of curious, so maybe when the time comes to have a puppy, do you get the opportunity or do you just like wake up and you have a wolf pup? Because that would be kind of an interesting thing to see. All right, there we go. Come on, there we go. Because if you just wake up and you suddenly have a wolf pup, then, I mean, I guess the random generator of names would decide who got reborn as a wolf pup, but Okay, yeah, there's creatures over here. So we'll go over here looking for a raccoon. But I really, I, I, I wonder. Yeah, now that I think about it, because you'd have to play as the bear to unlock another bear, wouldn't you? Hmm, so that's going to be interesting. I guess we'll use a random generator to decide if we play as a bear or as a wolf or a horse or a lynx or a fox from day to day. Or maybe we'll just like have little stories, like get to a certain number of levels. And then we'll go visit with a different part of the Starry Skies pack. When we get to, like, the attack horses, I, I don't know, guys. I'm glad that we're saying that all of our horses were originally wolves in another life. Because at least that makes a little bit more sense to me. <laughs> all right, let's see. I think there's a big, bad, tough thing to fight down there. So that makes me a little nervous. Because for all that we're taking out a ton of squirrels, we are still pretty low level. And I'm, I'm not feeling super duper confident about what we can do. All right, come on. Oh, especially because look at this. This is a level 11 squirrel. How much does he give us for spiritual energy? Same 36 coins. Well, 32 for the lower level squirrels, 36 for the higher level. So I guess that's kind of worth it. 
You better not be leading me to my own doom over here, buddy. All right, we need to find one more raccoon. And then we'll be able to, to unlock more stuff for the day. Come on. Come on, raccoon. Or right, squirrel. Yeah, this is the level nine squirrel. Nice, and we reached level 10 as a wolf. That's fantastic. All right, well, now we just need to find one raccoon. There's some more creatures over here, so let's come and see what's going on. It does seem like everything over here is a little tougher to fight. Those are squirrels. We've we've chased so many squirrels. That's a boar. I really don't know about that. Definitely not until at least both of us are level 10. And it seems like there's some creatures over there. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about fighting a boar. So we saw him today and that's probably enough for me. All right, we'll go this way because it seems there's something over here. All right, come on, Lynx. What are we gonna do with you, huh? I really wanna find the last raccoon. And having these quests is a good, oh, that's the, that's the, the moose. We're not fighting that moose. <laughs> About face. The squirrels are probably cackling like they led us astray. Come on, bunnies. You guys don't need to get involved in all this chaos either, come on. Nice, all right. And now we need to level up Selena, and then once she's level 10, in fact, we'll go ahead and switch over to her so I can keep an eye on her. There we go. Whoops, oh, we can't perform that action while I'm about. What about now? There we go. Uh, Selena, no, not the squirrels again. But I could see her like having a thing against squirrels. I don't know what they did to her, but she took it really personally. And every squirrel she sees, she's got to give a good hunt to. All right, but let's look for a raccoon after this. Down you go, squirrel. There we go. Whoa, Selena, calm down. You're okay. You're just running in circles, girl. It's already night. Come on, raccoons. This is the best time for you to come out. Where are you, Tom? You need to regenerate yourself so that we can fight you. We fight every day, Tom. It's, it's what we do here. Oh geez, so many squirrels. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if they're leveling up because we're leveling up. That's a good question. All right, come on. Come on, Selena. And then once we get down here, maybe we can find some squirrels in the open fields because sometimes they'll hide down there. Oh, easy, Selena, easy. And she's getting closer to level nine at least. So we're not quite close enough to have a puppy where are all of the raccoons? I see something with tall tails. Are those more squirrels? Selena, why? What do you have against squirrels? You've got like such a vendetta. I'm not gonna really question it, but I mean, cause it is helping us level up, even if it's just a teensy bit. And we do need, she is almost to level nine now. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't really question it. There we go. All right, we'll take this one out and then it's so dark. We'll try to wiggle our way back home. But I really wish, I wish there was an easier way to like locate a specific type of prey because as wolves, we should have, yes, there we go. We are now level nine with Selena. But as wolves, we should have the ability to like sniff down a specific type of scent if you ask me. That's another squirrel, I am ignoring you. There's something over there that's shaped a little differently. I hope that they're not just squirrels. We'll do a howl to see. Come on, just one raccoon. Are those all squirrels again? Oh my gosh. Wait, no. Is that a raccoon? It's bunnies. Okay, there's a bunch of bunnies. That's helpful, but not what we're looking for. Do you have to fight the bunnies to like clear out the, the area for the raccoon? Are we not gonna find the raccoon today? Cause that's gonna make me a little irate. Squirrel, 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 bunny. All right, let's get rid of this bunny spirit. Maybe there's only so much room for different animals at a time. Let's go check out, I found raccoons over here. So this is, this is gonna, wow, we've almost leveled up just looking for the raccoons. What about over here? Is that them? Maybe? It's hard to tell. Come on, 
All right, what do we have? Those look too small to be raccoons. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Almost there. <sighs> squirrels. <laughs> no, this is not what I wanted. All right, we're gonna take out this squirrel and I guess uh, we literally ran into a tree. They're cackling. I think that they, they, Salida and the squirrels have something going on together. They really don't like each other. I'm not gonna question it. This is our last squirrel. Thank you, Lynx. This is our last squirrel for now, but the good news is we've gotten much closer on leveling Selena up. And hopefully, once we take care of this raccoon, wherever it may be, is that a raccoon? The thing is their tails look really similar from a distance between raccoons and squirrels, but you don't know until you get there. Come on. Maybe? Or is, no, we're done, Selena. No more squirrels, it's a squirrel. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to have our ancestor dream today. So even though we were not able to find the raccoon, we will next time. And we're going to allow Lynx to actually be the one to dream of some of the ancestor dreams. So let's go ahead and see what he finds tonight. Will it be a connection with his brother Frost? The answer is... No, but it's actually a really beautiful skin color for the horses. <gasps> That's so cool. And once again, we have dreamed of a bear action. I swear Atlas is really trying hard to like send us some messages. It's hilarious. And now let's go ahead and we will actually dream again for Selena so that she can have a dream uh, of the ancestors and of all the spiritual energy of the squirrels that she has consumed today. So what does she dream about? A connection to Frost, a new animal. She dreamed about foxes again, which is hilarious because she is actually based off of a character from someone who loves foxes. And she has dreamed about horses too. And we now have a really rare like action with the horses. That is so cool. All right, well, thank you, Selena. Thank you very much for that. That's gonna be wonderful. I wish we could dream of a pet. And we have dreamed about like, the bears again, which kind of cracks me up. But all right, guys, next time we will try to find where the raccoon is, finish that quest, level these two up, and get ready for them to have some puppies arrive, or at least our very first wolf pup. And who will it be from among the many ancestors of our wolf quest stories? We're gonna have to see then. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.